We've seen a lot of different problems come up this school year in particular. The busing issue has stolen hours of learning time. Kentucky Republicans are talking about whether or not the state's largest school district, JCPS, should be split up now. They filed a resolution just this week to create a new task force which will target Jefferson County Public Schools, asking that question. So our focus team has been following many angles of this story, with funding now being a top concern as well. How would it work? Would splitting up JCPS lead to funding shortfalls in certain areas? Focus Team's Travis Breeze is talking to a top expert on education funding about the issues that might come up. If you look at a map of Jefferson County, it's all about spreading the wealth. Communities who don't have much get help from those who do. It's the same story for JCPS. Children that live in property poor districts receive a lot less resources than children that live in wealthier districts. As one district, the wealthier East End communities help support urban neighborhoods where many of the magnet and traditional schools are. If JCPS was broken up in a non-equitable way, lower income areas would need more help from the state. What would end up happening likely is the property poorer districts in Jefferson County would suffer the same fate as the property poorer districts in the rural parts of Kentucky, which is that they would lack the capacity to generate revenues locally and they're going to be worse off than they were before in a larger district. Pam Thomas spent nearly 25 years as a staffer on the Kentucky Appropriations and Revenue Committee and often consults on the Support Education Excellence in Kentucky Formula, or SEEK, which aims to balance out districts with low property values by awarding them more state funding. The increase in the base SEEK funding when you take inflation into account has actually decreased since the 1990s. To get SEEK funding, districts have to levy a 30% property tax. In Jefferson County, the total amount of property taxes that go towards schools is higher than what the district receives from the state. But in a rural county like Mead, its school district gets over three times as much state funding compared to base property taxes. Even the local governments in those areas are less able to raise money with the same effort. This is just one area the task force will study if created by lawmakers. But I think some more complicated questions are, um, you know, how would employees be divided up? How would administrations be established? The resolution filed this week says a task force has until December 1st to make a recommendation. There's a lot of things that I think would need to be considered in the whole process, and I can't imagine it could be done quickly. In Louisville, Travis Breeze, WHAS 11 on your side.